Thank you for joining us for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're going to be talking about upset control in rotary friction welding. In friction welding, the amount of upset that you get as a result of welding is a measurement of how much shorter the two incoming parts get. Now the overall length is a measurement of the length of the part, but upset is the amount of shortening. Now if I had perfect incoming parts, and I imparted the same amount of energy into every weld, then I would get very consistent upset every time I weld this part. But you rarely have perfect incoming parts. I can have differences in area. That differences in area will affect how, much, how the energy is converted. I could have different surface conditions, surface cleanliness, material differences such as heat treatment or hardness, or the interface squareness can all affect how the energy is dissipated during welding. Now in rotary friction welding, there's two main types. There's direct drive and there's inertia. Within direct drive, if I'm using a time-based control system, then I have a fixed amount of energy. So the energy input comes from the spinning uh, electric motor uh, and the rotating component. So if I'm controlling how long I rotate for a specific amount of time, then I'm putting the same amount of energy into the part every time. In inertia welding, I have a rotating flywheel mass. If I rotate that flywheel up to a certain speed and I disengage, then the kinetic energy stored in that flywheel is consistent every time I make that weld. And again, if I had perfect parts, every time I made these welds, I would get very consistent upset, other than what might come from machine differences. So pressure control, spindle temperature, machine efficiencies, or even interface alignment due to tooling misalignment, those things can also affect upset. But again, if I had perfect parts, I could use a fixed energy process and get very consistent upset. But because I'm using fixed energy, I'm not correcting for incoming part differences. It's essentially an open loop control, and the physics of the process will dictate how repeatable the upset is. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Whiteboard Wednesdays. For more information on rotary friction welding or other welding solutions, please visit our website at mtiwelding.com.